Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. It has come to my attention that we owe you guys a bit of an overview of our marketing system. So I actually have one of Russ's auctions here, and we can go ahead and take a look at everything you should do to capitalize on the WaveBid marketing tools. So first of all, this is the edit settings page for the auction. If I come up here, I can navigate there by going to auction and edit settings. Um, beyond that, of course, choosing the right title for your auction, choosing the right auction image, having the correct address there, for example. This actually happens to be an online only auction that is running on the KBID platform. Um, let's, let's take a look at some other settings. So another important thing, of course, having the right start date, the right end date. If I come over here into auction info, you can see there's a whole bunch of fields and they're used um, all over your website. You can kind of fill out the ones you want. You can add videos to the text. Um, if I come down here, you can see we got terms and conditions. We got a description of the sale, a tagline. If I come over to the marketing tab, you can actually see I have uh, type of auction, which Russ actually did not fill out. I'm actually going to set that to online. Uh, we have the auction URL and we have the registration URL. All right, beyond that, you can see we got the preview dates here. Looks like there's two of them on the 17th and the 19th. That's actually tomorrow. If you're in Minnesota, go check it out. Um, one other thing is we actually have a buyer's guide here that was actually generated in the WaveBid system by going to Current Auction, Catalogs, and Buyer's Guide. I actually attached that as a file so that uh, anyone who goes to Russ's website can actually download it, look through it, print it out if they want, um, and it's here. Okay, so you can upload the files, you can add auction info, you can add the right links and marketing, and then uh, the first thing we can actually do to get this to show up somewhere is set the auction to public. And you can see here we got a couple options. You got public no catalog, which for your website it will show the event itself, but it will not actually list the items inside of it. We have public, which will show the items inside of it as well as the event, and that's the one we actually want for Russ's auction here. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at how I can actually get it on my website and what that looks like. So I have an example here, this is framfram.com. You can see I can pull up the images, um, I can scroll through that description we entered there, that buyer's guide downloads here, and I can browse through all the different you know, catalog items here. So you can see I can go through all the photos. Um, beyond that, we got terms and conditions. The more you fill out, the more that will show up on the page. Uh, but that's what it looks like on his website. This will also show up on any uh, state association site that is using our new Ignite tool. Um, it will show up instantly just by setting the auction to public. Uh, one other thing we can actually do is post this auction places. Not only can we export to all the bidding platforms, um, for example, like KBID here, we can actually send it to different places. One of those is LotNut. LotNut is our proprietary listing platform and it is an item based listing system. So if you can see here, we can scroll through all the items. I can click for more information on a single item. I can click to actually go bid on that item, which is really cool. Uh, so not only do we have it here on LotNut, we also are integrated with GoToAuction. So this one does require a little bit of configuration. Um, I'll actually take you to the configuration page and we can look at what all those configurations look like. So if I come up here to My Links, Company, Partner Management, if you see here, I can go in the Marketing tab. The LotNet account is automatically created for you. You don't have to worry about that one. If you are posting to our Legacy Ignite system, uh, there's a couple portal sites, a couple state associations, as well as a couple personal websites. We actually integrate there. Uh, you just have to put in your user credentials into the system. Uh, go to auction is our, our newest integration here. We can actually add uh, add the account. All you need is your company ID. You got to put that in WaveBid, and then in Go to Auction, there's actually a spot for you to put your WaveBid credentials. Um, log in when you're in your admin panel on the back side. You'll see it'll say WaveBid linking section right there. It's not too hard to find. Um, beyond that, we have a statesales.net and a statesales.org. This is a bunch of industrial machinery equipment tooling. Um, so Russ is not posting those there. Um, beyond that, auction zip is actually configured the first time you try to post there. Social media. For social media, you can see here I added in my Facebook account so I can actually show you what it looks like when you post a lot here. Um, same thing for Twitter, we can actually add an account. All you have to do is have your login credentials to your social media platform. Let's now take a look at go to auction here. You'll actually see all the lots, the links, 
Um, the contact info, all of this is pulled right from WaveBid. Uh, you send it over. To send it over to go to auction, all you actually have to do is come into the marketing section and then go into tasks. So this is all of the places where we actually go and post it somewhere. And you can see here, uh, we have the automated post to lot nut that was done when he exported to KBID automatically. We have the post to auction zip here, which, you know, to do any of these, you just click add new task, you choose the type you want, and then you fill out the details. So an example, if I want to post to Facebook, I can go ahead and choose, you know, just so I know which one, auction closing post. Uh, beyond that, I actually set the date I want it to run. Uh, you can actually set it so that throughout the life cycle of your sale, all these posts will be happening in the background. So I can actually set it, I think the sale ends on the 20th, so I'll send it on the 19th uh, to give Russ's buyers a heads up that the, um, that the sale's closing. I can also put in my text. This is where I usually put the link to bid on it or the link to your website. I can also choose a photo from all of your wave bid photos in the sale. Um, and then you also get the choice of choosing whether to highlight the photo or the text. So that's kind of how you do a post. I already did one. We'll take a look in a second. Uh, but you can see we got go to auction, auction services, portal sites. Uh, let's take a look at some of these. So this is the go to auction post. You can see we got the whole catalog here. If I keep scrolling through, you actually see we'll have all the photos as well where you can look through them, um, as well as like the description of the sale, the terms, and all that. Uh, let's take a look at the next one here. I actually have one of our uh, portal sites through auction services. It's the auction portal network site. His sale was posted there just by doing that auction services task. And you can see we got the photos, nice photo collage, the description, as well as the featured items which you actually get to go in and highlight which lots you considered featured and it will highlight those right there up front. We actually have two other list portal sites through auction services. We have uh, National Auction List. We have also auctionservices.com and you can see the sale was posted all of these places. Um, I have an example of that Facebook post that I posted earlier. And you can see here, you know, Bridgeport series, one, two horsepower, vertical mill, and much more, over 300 lots, clean and ready to use equipment with a link to the sale uh, to KBID. So that's what I actually posted right through WaveBid. You can see here, published here by WaveBid, um, right to his company page. Uh, let's take a look at what's next. We actually have a Craigslist posting tool. Um, the way it works is it's a Chrome extension that you install. You get some credentials, which we'll have the help section articles there below. And what it does is it'll autofill the Craigslist post with all the details from one of your lots. So in this case, I chose that same Bridgeport Series 1 uh, vertical mill. I uh, added all of these details here, and these are right from WaveBid. They were uploaded into WaveBid, and all I had to do is copy them over. One thing that's usually nice to do is uh, actually add a little bit of text outside of this because it's just an item you don't actually know that it's a uh, website so for example on this one I added go to uh, the Framfram website to learn more um, they don't like you posting links too much the way it actually handles photos is you choose how many photos you want from the lot and it'll download them to your computer into an organized folder uh, once you're there and you're at the photo uploader all you have to do is click add images choose the folder go into your downloads and it'll be right there uh, let's take a look at what's next. The next thing I got here is actually our email templating system. So we actually have an email templating system that allows you to set up an email template and use it over and over again for your auctions. That way you get your branding there. Uh, it'll autofill with your lots. You don't have to go through and upload photos again. Um, for this particular one, I use, the, of course, the same sale. Um, to do it, you can see you just click the boxes, you drag them, and it'll automatically pull in for whatever auction you select. Um, when I'm ready to actually post it, so we do not actually do the bulk emailing, we actually just provide you with the template, the content, the photos, for example, um, and we can also help you with the email list. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this uh, HTML because this is what I actually put into Constant Contact. And then one other feature we have is the ability for you to generate targeted email lists. I'm going to go ahead and show you this one here quick. So this is, of course, in Russ's account. You can see I have most of the columns turned off because we, of course, don't want to reveal any personal information. But you can see I found any, anybody who's been to an auction in Minnesota 
who spent at least one dollar and their buyer so not not just seller I want just buyers um, who've spent at least one dollar at a Minnesota sale that's what this list is all I have to do is actually click export and download I'm gonna choose the CSV format because that's what constant contact likes um, but I downloaded that and I now have a targeted email list I could also do things like if I want someone who's who bought like a a vertical mill just like the, the item we listed on Facebook I can actually build a targeted email add that to the keyword list and it'll pull anybody who's bought a vertical mill um, so that's that's sort of how you use our email templating system as well as our email targeted list functionality um, one other feature I wanted to bounce through with you real quick is our uh, survey functionality so what we actually built into our system is a way for you to record what forms of marketing you're paying for into your sale so you can see here we actually I, I listed a couple here you know we have the digital category and auction zip star tribune auctions auction services portal um, you know Facebook ads boosted Facebook post the concept is is when someone comes to check out uh, Russ's sale ends on uh, the 20th so every single person who goes to check out from the sale prompt will come up and say how'd you hear about us and what it'll do is it'll actually record all the statistics for all of these ads so then you can see who gives you the highest quality buyers we can actually go and take a look at what that report looks like what columns are on there um, I'll go into marketing and then survey and you can see here you know we got advertising type advertising source so you can organize them however you want the total number of bidders uh, the unsuccessful buyers the buyers who did not actually get anything we have the successful bidders how many lots they got and the successful amount so it sort of allows you to see um, based on your marketing costs who's bringing you the highest quality buyers alright so that's an overview of the marketing system there's there's quite a bit more than that but that's an overview all the help articles will be down below um, go ahead and click on those read through them send in a support ticket we'd love to get you integrated um, it, there's just no reason not to be integrated. You might as well enter it once and have it post everywhere.